Oh. Yeah, there's no aircon. <laughs> Very good. Really? Never use aircon. My future house is also not safe. Your car got aircon? No? I don't have a car. Wow, you are an ambassador, man. Yeah, NEA. <laughs> and our office, we collect the. Okay, you come and see here. <laughs> I'm Nicole. I'm going to be meeting someone really important today and we're going to have a little chat about our nation's sustainability efforts. So I thought what better place to have that conversation than at a park! Hi everybody, I'm Desmond Tan. Uh, welcome to Pasir Ris. I'm very excited to be here. We're going to do a fun activity today. Yes. Um, we're going to chat about the sustainability efforts of um, Singapore. Okay. But we're going to have a little bit of a twist. We're going to do it on rollerblades. Wow, okay. Wow, that, that would be a double challenge. I think it's more than 10 years ago since I rollerbladed. But I've been teaching my daughter. So okay. I think I should manage. Yeah, I was told you can do like snake and you know, back and all that. Stress. So... Cannot, cannot, cannot. What do you... Do like in your personal time outside of you know your job as a Mr. of state. Okay. Yeah, so sports is one, and the other one is uh, spend time with my daughter lah. Okay. My, my family actually, my whole family. Do you come to like Pasir Ris Park? Oh like, yes, right, yes, a lot. Actually, you if you see for yourself, Pasir Ris has one of the best uh, outdoor nature, nature spaces, spaces yeah. right? They have a long white beach, and then there is a mangrove walk. It's one of the few towns I think that uh, quite blessed to have. Nature. A lot of nature. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Now it's how to break it. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. As far as the sustainability is concerned, the mm. climate and all that, of course, you know, we are seeing quite a lot of climate change, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So whether it's temperature, increase, um, you know, heavy rains. Mm. So why are like green spaces like these important? I think actually a lot of people didn't know that more than one third of Singapore island is covered in greeneries. I didn't know that! Yeah, uh, and that's because of the years and decades of planning and also determination that we just don't want to build a, a city in, in a city, right? Just we a want concrete to build a jungle. City in nature. Pasir Ris Park, I've been here for over a year. It's really a space for everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I met a lady who is here nearly, I think, three or four times a week. Wow. Just to pick up trash along the beach. In Singapore as a city, yeah. we actually consume a lot and we generate a lot of waste. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you heard about Samakau Island. You continue this path, I think we will quick, very quickly run out of space. Should we do a water break? Okay, we, sure, sure. I think we, we need we, we earn it. Cheers! Okay, cheers. Cheers! We decided to take the Instagram to ask a couple of our audiences some questions that they had about sustainability. So I'm going to ask you a couple. Right. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you personally think is the biggest misconception people have about saving the environment? I mm. think we all have to begin to realise that everyone plays a part. It is not just the government or the industry or the businesses. I believe that, you know, this climate change affects uh, everybody at different levels. Yeah. And no country is spared. So even though we live in a small little city island, but the impact on us is also very high. You know, there are increased actions like the, the green plan and stuff like that. But you also mentioned that, you know, the lady at Pasir Ris, she's there quite often to pick up trash. If she's there so regularly and so often, right, does it mean that like, actually our individual actions like don't make any difference? You know, there is this saying that actually great things on earth are achieved little by little. Every little by little adds up. Mm. Just imagine if both of us, we were to maybe just you know, buy one less water bottle a day. That's one a day, that's 365 in a year, right? That's two of us. Mm. And imagine millions and billions of people doing it. Somebody asked on Instagram, did we actually produce more waste in the past year due to COVID-19? As you mentioned, COVID-19, a lot of people are working from home. Yes. We are probably ordering more online. Uh, so in the industries, in the offices and the companies, we are seeing a, a drastic reduction in terms mm. of the overall waste generated. By homes, because of the tapao and online purchase, we are seeing an upward trend. Mm. Uh, in the community, we do see that uh, you know, we can put in some nudges, right? mm. some behavioural nudges. Mm, mm, mm. If we are just apply a little bit more consciousness in our everyday living, mm. to reduce the use of water, mm. you know, take more public transport, uh, bring our own bottle, some of our supermarkets and mm. retailers, are beginning to charge on the use of plastic. Remind their customers to bring reusable or non-disposable bags. Do you go buffet? Yeah. I don't. Do you do hot pot? Like I do, I do. <laughs> food to Singaporeans is so important. No, right? it's true, we are foodies. Yeah, we can't live without food. But I think we have to be very mindful about you know the amount, the quantity that we mm. order and not to 
uh, order too much. Mm, yeah. mm. Uh, I have something for you. <gasps> thank you, thank what you. What is this? Is that yeah, your reward? Like, our reward. Oh wow, yes, it's Starbucks. Starbucks. So Means that we can order whatever we want. I'm gonna have something uh, ice cold. I have my own container, so I'm. A yeah, steak. we have our own container. Yeah. Can you use that. So Nicole, how was the coffee? Good, especially since it's in a reusable cup, and I got my fifty cents discount. Mm, by the way, this is one of the many say yes to waste less partner initiative. Cool. You guys can find out more here. So thanks a lot for joining me today, Desmond. Thank I had you. a lot of fun rollerblading, but also learning about our country's sustainability efforts. Likewise, it's nice meeting you, Nicole. I had a lot of fun as well. Remember, we have to use clean reusable as often as we can. I will also remember to buy and order just enough. That's right. Cheers! Cheers.